Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to update your iPhone, iPad, or Touch to the latest iOS 12 using iTunes. So we're going to do our iPad today. However, these are the same steps no matter what you guys have. So we're going to be using iTunes, all right? So you guys can download iTunes for any of your Windows computers, or if you guys have Mac, you guys already have iTunes installed. iTunes is a free program, so don't worry about it. Again, it's available for Windows, all right? and it's pre-installed on your Mac. So you guys are good to go. And just in case, compatible devices with iOS 12. Here we go, let's just go down the list, iOS 12. So here's the list, if you guys are not in the list, sorry, you guys will not be able to update to the latest iOS 12, which is not a bad thing for most of you. Trust me, if you guys have an older iPhone, it would just make it slower. Same thing goes with iPad or an iPod Touch. Um, so let's just get right into it. Let's just back up and install that update. Let's go right into iTunes. On iTunes, right here on the top left hand side, you guys will see this icon. It might be a skinnier icon or a fatter icon, um, depending what you guys have hooked up. So right now it's an I iPad, so that's why it's a slightly thicker icon right here. So let's just click on it. Once we click on here, we guys, you guys can choose backups. So you guys can do iCloud backup if you guys have enough space. Um, and then for most of you, you guys will not have enough space because it, as you know, for free, it's only five gigs, right? If you guys don't want to pay, just back it up on your computer. So we're going to do that. We're going to back up our iPads. And that's very important before you guys do this major update, just in case something goes wrong, you guys can restore it and you guys will not lose anything if you guys make this backup. So let's just back up right now. Okay, and yeah, you guys can transfer your purchases or not, that's your choice. So in this case, we're gonna transfer our purchases because we do want that backup. But the backup itself really depends on how many gigs you guys ha actually have on your iPad. All right, same thing goes with your iPhone, iPod Touch. Um, so we're just gonna wait for that. It's gonna do that backup and then up here, you guys will see that it says update. All we have to do is click on update. Okay, so that's gonna be our second step and they're just gonna, we're just gonna wait through it. But um, your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, once you guys click on update, it's gonna download the update, then it's gonna install the update and that's gonna take a while. So just make sure you guys have at least a good hour. And that's just, just in case, just in case your internet's kind of slow, it's gonna download the, the actual update kind of slow and then the installation process doesn't take too long um, but it will take at least 15 minutes for most of you if not 30 minutes for some of you that have older generation iPhones iPads it might just be a little bit slower again it depends if you guys have your iPhone iPad up touch like really full of gigs then it might take you longer because as you know the more full you have your storage um, the slower your device actually gets Okay, so we're just gonna wait for this backup to be done and then we're gonna continue on. So now that the backup is done, we're gonna proceed and update. So just click up here where it says update. Then we're just gonna continue on. Press update again. Next, agree. And there we go. So right now, like I said, the first thing it's gonna do is download the update. All right, guys, so you guys should see this. All right, so once it's in verifying update iPad software, that means it's installing. So at this point, by no means disconnected your iPad, your iPhone, iPod touch, you guys will see that white screen, Apple logo and a loading bar. Okay, so that's what you guys should see on the screens. But right here on iTunes, this is all you guys are gonna see. Then your iPad, iPod touch will turn off. You guys will see a black screen. You guys will see this message. You guys can just click on OK and then we will see nothing. <laughs> and that's just because it's restarting, so it doesn't really do anything right now, and that uh, you guys will not see anything on your iTunes, or even on your iPhone, iPod, iPod Touch, okay? It's just gonna be a black screen because it's restarting. So once it restarts, we will see something back here on iTunes. You guys will see something back on your iPhone, iPod, iPod Touch. So if you guys press the home button, um, it's okay if you guys don't see anything. Again, black screen is just fine. Um, now let's say you guys just got stuck somewhere. That means you guys will have to restore. To restore, you guys can do that here in iTunes, okay? 
Um, restoring will delete everything from your iPhone, iPad, or Touch. But then again, you guys can just load up the backup you guys just did, right? That's why it's really important to make that backup just in case you guys do run into something or let's say somebody disconnects your iPhone, iPad, or Touch from your computer when this installation is happening or um, it just turns off for some reason, just something bad happens, that backup is really important. So right now, what you guys should be seeing on your iPhone iPod Touch, again, would be a white screen, Apple logo, loading bar, okay? And that just means it's installing, the loading bar should be moving along, and um, again, this update shouldn't take longer than 30 minutes, but I can see this taking a little bit more for some people, just because if your internet speed's not the greatest, this could take an hour, that's right, an hour, but <laughs> I don't see that happening for most people. Um, a lot of you are gonna be done in 15 minutes, um, some of you 30 minutes, and then up to an hour. I wouldn't really say that anybody would take more than an hour even if your internet speed's pretty slow, just because it's such a, well, it's not a small update, it's actually a bigger, one of those bigger ones, but still, it's not, a humongous update so it shouldn't take that long so if for you guys to download two gigs um, takes more than an hour then sure but uh, for most of you to download two gigs it only takes 15 minutes or even less then yes this update will run faster so here's a quick preview of what you guys should be seeing on your iPhone iPad up touch which is the Apple logo plus the loading bar so again this you guys will only see right on your screen, okay? Not on iTunes, this would be actually on your screen that's happening. Once the update is complete on your iTunes, you guys will see this, so pretty much nothing. You guys have to go back to your iPad, iPod Touch to complete the um, setup. Not the update itself because it's done, but the setup, okay? So I'm gonna take you through that right now. Okay guys, so at this point, we are on our screen. So this is an iPad, like I said, but same thing on your iPhone, iPod Touch, all right? So let's just go into our home. So just press the home button, update completed. You guys are good to go. Just press continue, uh, put in your passcode if you guys have one. And then this is up to you guys. Usually I always recommend never, never doing any iOS updates by themselves, okay? You guys should do this by your own, just in case. Um, sometimes you don't want to update because there's a bunch of glitches on the new update. So don't let it do it by itself. You guys should do this. You guys should handle this. Okay. Don't, don't do this. I really don't recommend doing automatic updates. So let's just choose the second option. Install updates manually. Then we're going to see this. Um, I can see a lot of you skipping this part, but, uh, just read through it. It's. I don't know, I think it's more for parents. Um, maybe some people would be interested in this stuff, but we're gonna skip this as well for now. And here we go. So it's just gonna tell you a few things. Just go continue, again, continue. It, it's good to see this, just to see the new things right away. Um, and just click get started, and that's it. That's it for the update. Right now you guys are in iOS 12. You guys will not see any differences right away on your home screen or any of your screens actually right away. It's gonna be a little bit laggy, but then it's gonna adjust and it's gonna be normal. As you guys will use it, you guys will see the differences with iOS 12, which are not humongous, but there's some pretty good ones out there. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.